for this visit to Hellsilt, we chose not to book any excursions. There are, however, a number of options available, including rib tours, right water rafting, bike tours, and more. So Georgie, where are we? We are in a place called Hellsilt. Hell, Hell, Hellsilt. They, they do a nice enunciation of it, I can't do it. We're in Hellsilt. Um, with this beautiful waterfall. Yeah. Oh, hello. Hiya. Yeah, if I'd have kept walking, I'd have fallen down the rocks. Oh, that's what yeah. I was hoping for. Yeah, oh, well, rude. <laughs> Um, Let's so yeah, I'll try that again. I didn't really sell Hellsilt, did I? So he's meant to go into Granger or Granger, but um, that was cancelled. I think it's because the ship was too large. We've had to come here instead. But I believe this is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and it's only got a population of about 300. So coming in here with 5,200 people kind of swamps the town. But we've come off after lunchtime because the bridge is quiet, and just the other side of Wembley now there is a waterfall, and it is stunning and the bridge is fairly quiet compared to what we saw earlier from inside our cabin. So we're going to have a little walk around this town now and see what it has to offer. So, our one piece of advice... Yes? When we arrived this morning, this bridge was round. I don't know if you can see, I know you took footage, but I don't know if you can see it, can you? Yeah, you, I think you can actually. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's yeah. loads of people on here. But yeah, so go off to lunch. Yeah, even when we was walking up here, you can see everyone heading back to the ship, because lunch is available now, so we just mm. had lunch. Um, and now we're here to be here kind of on our own. <laughs> Which yeah. is still better than Much earlier. quieter, yeah. yeah and at least you can easily get a position to take a picture or two. Well, you were a little brave soldier on that waterfall. I was, and it was absolutely like, terrifying. Bear grills. Yeah. The guy <laughs> next to me started slipping, so I put my hand out to try and help him, and he refused it. And then he just kept, like, slipping for about 30 seconds. I was like, well, I tried to help you. <laughs> was it yeah. worth it, though? It was definitely worth it, yeah. I don't know what the 360 footage came out like that we took, but, um, yeah, got well close to the Hopefully waterfall. good. Hopefully mm. they're looking at it right now. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you doing the food dance? I'm doing the food dance because we are back on board. We couldn't be bothered to go to the buffet because we thought we'd be really busy. So we got some room service. Well, and the selection in the buffet has been pretty poor. It's been really poor. Um, I know so, I've put it on Twitter as well. The buffet's just been like a write-off on this trip. I yeah. don't know why. And for those that say, like, you can go to somewhere else on the ship, we like the buffet. There's the a reason the why we've joked about calling ourselves the buffet guys. It's because yeah. we love a buffet. And that's why I'm really looking forward to Royal Caribbean, because apparently their buffet yeah. is really nice. But on Iona, it's just... Yeah. We have got the beach house and the olive grove booked, and we are looking forward to those, but the buffet fills the rest of the time. Yeah. <laughs> but because the buffet has been so poor, I really yeah. want some Indian food, because there hasn't really been any Indian food apart from chickpea curry. So I have gone for... I'm opening it up now. Yeah, open it. Oh, this one's amazing. Chicken tikka masala for myself. And Dan has gone for, I can't remember. This is exciting. Like. They've seen this before in Britannia, so. Tex-Mex selection. The best. So I love these, these are bits of corn. Back off. Chicken con carne, nachos, salsa, guacamole, sour cream, and jalapeno, or yeah, jalapeno mozzarella dippers, I think. How much do they cost? I have no idea. Hold the line. So mine was a large plate that cost four pounds seventy-five. 
and yours was to share, so I will eat some of it. And yours was seven pound, but again, there's now a two pound fifty delivery charge on board Iona. Again, not sure if that's across the whole fleet. Um, so yeah, two pound fifty delivery charge to take you to the cabin too. At around 4.30 p.m. we departed Helsilt to start our cruise by of Gerengaford. The Seven Sisters waterfalls are a popular site in Gerengaford. The tallest of the seven has a free fall of 250 metres. The water level is dependent on the snowfall and rain affecting whether it is possible to see all seven falls clearly. The falls are naturally more visible during the major snow melting period in May to July. After the spectacular cruise buys, it was time for some music, so we headed to the 710 Club for the nation's number ones. we headed up to deck for a final view as we left the fjords. So we're back in the cabin and Georgie wants me to show you something but he can't right now um, and but he's filming instead. We went to a shop um, in Hells... Silt. Hells That's Silt. the one. Can't remember the name of the shop but they had some popcorn. Joker. And Georgie bought this. This beast. How awesome's that? Woo! 26. 6 KOL? I don't know. NOK. NOK. <laughs> see, look, mess. Absolute mess. When I said Joker, I wasn't calling you a Joker. The shop was called Joker. We were okay. just next to the go up. Right. You need to get back up camera ready and just tell everyone about our day. Please. Okay. So it's been a little while since I've spoken to camera, so I just wanted to fill you in what we've done this evening. Um, so when we got back on board the ship, we decided to chill in the room because we was coming out of um, Hell Silt. I've been pronouncing it wrong this whole vlog, by the way, and I do apologise. Hell Silt um, is the correct pronunciation. So as, as we left, we kind of reversed out of the fjord we was in, turned, went down to one towards Garenga and then done a complete 180 next to Seven Sisters Waterfall. However, because there hadn't been much rain, um, the last couple of days the waterfalls weren't really running if that's the right word um, the water wasn't falling so you couldn't really see much but we did have a, some amazing waterfalls to be fair and the scenery has been fantastic today and then we decided just to chill in the room and take in the scenery so we got some room service instead of going out for food room service for me it tasted okay um, mine was £4.25 I think £4.75 but I would have it again um, and again you have got a room charge a delivery charge now with room service so bear that in mind if you are wanting something delivered to your room 
And then we had the birthday cake arrive, which was Dan's little surprise that I had arranged earlier today. It was a bit of a panic because me and Dan have been together most of the time on this cruise. So I had about half an hour spare while Dan went off to do some ship tour vlogging. And I thought I'd run down to reception now and just get it all done. And it's quite awkward because I bumped into Dan just after I'd done it and he was like, what are you doing down here? I was like, oh, I, I just wanted to find you to be with you. So I managed to save that, thankfully. He didn't really suspect that I'd went and got him a cake, so that was good. And then we went to the 710 Club, and it was amazing. Um, we like jazz music anyway, but it's not jazz music where it was all kind of like thrown together music. It was, tonight's was number one hits in jazz form. So it was really nice, it was um, a bass, I don't know why I started saying that because I don't know all the types of guitars. There were two people on guitars, there was one drummer and the pianist who was also singing as well and he had a really good voice. So if we can go back there, hopefully we will. And then we went back to the buffet just for kind of like just a little snacky bit because we were, I was peckish, Dan wasn't, but they didn't have anything really that I liked. They had like lamb moussaka, lamb curry, salmon something so I went for just little bites of chicken tikka pieces which was weird because I had chicken tikka for room service as well so I had a lot of chicken tikka today um, then we came back to the room again and I was just chilling and we are mid Ghostbusters at the moment which is on the TV so we're just having a nice relaxed evening so we hope you have enjoyed watching this vlog if you have please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button just down below you can also check out georgeanddan.com or scan the qr code which is going to pop up on your screen in just a second which will take you to our website where you can view the horizon itineraries from today's plans as well as all the menus from the restaurants that we've eaten at on this week's cruise and we'll see you later